Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do because it's actually an idea that came from my comment section. So love doing these. And it's all about eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna be talking about eyeshadow palettes that I don't love, but that I won't get rid of. So I thought this was a really fun idea for especially an eyeshadow palette video because sometimes makeup products hold special memories to us. Sometimes they have certain shades that we really don't want to let go of. Sometimes they were really expensive, so we don't want to declutter them. So I went through my collection and I picked out six eyeshadow palettes that aren't my favorites. I don't love them, and I'm going to tell you why I decided to keep them. So as always, if you have any ideas or video suggestions for me, please do leave them in my comment section. And before we jump into it, I do want to say there's a sponsor on today's video, and I'm getting to partner with Ritual once again for today's video. So we'll chat a little bit about that in the beginning, and then we will jump into the palettes. So so let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I do start my videos with an outfit of the day. So my dog is laying on the floor, so I'm just gonna push her chair to the side in case she wants to join us for later. But I'm actually filming on a day where the Vegas Golden Knights are playing in the Stanley Cup. So I am rocking black and, you know, this is yellow, but you know, like black and gold for the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, I was able to attend game one of the Stanley Cup Finals in Vegas, which was absolutely electric. It was so much fun. I still can't believe that I was able to go and i'm getting ready to watch another game with my friends tonight so i wanted to be decked out in golden knights colors but as always i will link everything down below all of the eyeshadow palettes that i am discussing i will have my makeup down there i have a few demos of this look with my mascara because i'm doing a first impression also my lip combo which was mentioned in my last favorites video uh, but like I said, before we jump into the eyeshadow palettes, I am getting to partner with Ritual on this video. I was able to work with them a couple of months ago. So for them to ask me if they could sponsor a video again really meant a lot to me because especially the video that I was talking about their products and why they mean so much to me and why I enjoy them so much. For other people to really listen to that and take that to heart and go check out their website and decide if you want to try some of their products, uh, it really meant a lot that they circled back and wanted to work with me again because Ritual is one of my supplements that I take every single day and this was a service that I had signed up for before I came on to partner with them. I had seen a few others on the internet to talk about it and I felt like it seemed like a good fit for me so I wanted to try it out so I grabbed a bottle then I ended up signing up for um, just a monthly subscription so I don't have to think about it. It just comes to my door every single month and then when they asked if they wanted to sponsor me I thought it made a lot of sense since it's something that I do on my own and I also do pay for on my own. So what I take from Ritual is their Symbiotic Plus. It's their three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and also their postbiotic. It's a supplement that helps support a balanced gut microflora and also supports gut and digestive health. It's formulated with two of the most clinically studied strains of probiotics to help relative mild and occasional bloating, gas, and diarrhea. One reason why when I first started looking into Ritual, why I really wanted to go with this brand is because their products are made traceable, um, they are third party tested, and you just, you know everything that you are putting into your system. This is what the supplement looks like. But you can see from their website, what you are putting into your body, where they are getting these from. And then also, because I do get this every single month, it comes with a card and it tells you that same information right there again. So I felt really confident in that I wasn't just taking something just kind of willy nilly. One thing that I always say is, no matter even if it's products that I'm recommending to you, something like a supplement or something like a lipstick, is to not just purchase something based off of what I'm saying, do your own research, look at their website. I think it has a lot of really good information, um, but to do your own research and decide if it's something that will work for you. And that's exactly what I did when I started hearing about Ritual. And I have been taking these now, I don't know, probably over six months at this point. I've been really happy with them, which is why I continue to recommend them. So I just take one every single morning. You only need to take one a day. And kind of first thing when I get up in the morning and I start to drink all of my water, that is when I just take the supplement and done for the day. But I have struggled in the past um, with especially like bloating, um, just gut discomfort and all of that. I've really been able to get a handle on some of those by doing things like changing up my diet, 
um, even changing up my workouts, but also adding in good quality supplements to my routine. Well, I will have a link in my description box and they did also give me a code for 20% off your first month if you do wanna try them out. That code is 20S March, so I will also have that in the description box along, along with the link. But as always, I urge you to look into it, check over the website, see uh, all the different things that they have to option. They have, they have multivitamins as well. Um, the Symbiotic Plus, they actually just launched a new product which I'm also, I think I'm just gonna add it on to my next month. And that is a little bit more focused on skin, so I'm really interested to try that one out as well, but I will report back, of course. But thank you so much to Ritual for working with me on this video, and thank you all so much for your support, especially during this time. It really means a lot. And that link and that discount code are going to be in my description box if you wanna check out Ritual any further. But let's hop over to these eyeshadow palettes. All right, so I was able to pick out six that, again, these aren't my favorites. They're not like top to be top, choices of mine but i don't want to get rid of them for one reason or the other one of them is from ColourPop, and this is the smoke show palette i believe it's been renamed to the blowing smoke now i'm not even sure if it's available on the ColourPop website if it is i of course will have it linked but i don't know if you know me even if you're a little bit newer to me you might look at this palette you might look at me and you might be like i don't see it i get it so this palette holds a lot of special memories to me though which is a big reason why i don't want to get rid of it uh, in 2019, I was nominated for an American Influencer Award, which still continues to like confuse me. And when I got the, uh, I actually got an Instagram DM first and I thought it was a joke. And I was like looking this up. I was like, I've never heard of this. I, I think that this is wrong. Uh, especially because I was nominated for Skincare Influencer of the Year of 2019. And I was like, who did this? <laughs> like, is, is this a prank? Uh, and to my total shock, I actually ended up winning <laughs> and I was in LA, I was at the Dolby Theater where they have like the big award shows for celebrities and I mean, I dressed myself, I came in a dress from Express and heels from Express, I did my own hair, curled it in the hotel room and this is the eyeshadow palette that I wore and it's a really proud moment for me um, because you win off of uh, like the community voting and I think that just really showed how strong of a community that I have here and I mean I have been able to realize that a lot over the years but especially even something which what I'm going through now like my my dog was recently diagnosed with cancer and just how much support I'm getting from the community is so overwhelming but I think this was a moment of like why I cried so much on stage was because it wasn't like I had you know three people in the industry looking over all of the different uh nominees like it really was from people who wanted me to have that recognition they wanted me to get on stage like that was such an overwhelming moment in my career as an influencer to realize that and to realize that i have been able to make an impact in people's lives especially beyond just makeup or just skincare or just beauty um it meant so much to me especially because at that time i was going through a lot with like my marriage and infertility and all of those things that no one actually knew about i hadn't talked about them yet so the, that winning that award was just really really special to me and this is the eyeshadow palette that I wore. I do love a good like gray silver moment, but it's just, it's not my absolute go-to. But if I wanna do a look like that, I know I can pull out the ColourPop palette, but also just with the memories tied with this one, it's really hard for me to let this one go. I think I actually have seven palettes in this video, so I think I lied to you in the beginning. So sorry about that. Um, but another palette that I pulled out is from Tati Beauty. <laughs> this is the volume one. And again, keeping this for a few different reasons. One of them is also good memories. Tati actually sent this to me in PR, which meant a lot to me that someone like Tati would even notice someone like me. And um, quite honestly, I spoke, you know, on a personal level with Tati for a while there when I was going through a lot of really hard things and she was someone who was really helpful to me. And she was someone who, I felt like was kind of giving me a mentorship, um, not just in like beauty and business, but in like my personal life and really helping me and like checking in on me. Um, it meant a lot. It, it, it really, it meant a lot to me. And it was around the time that she was launching at Tati Beauty 
And when she sent me over this palette, I was just so wickedly excited about it. Um, it's a pretty large palette. I typically go for a little bit smaller palettes, but I think it's really cool how it's broken up into these different rows like this. I do have a few of my favorite rows, you know, kind of right here. Like I love me some browns. The oranges are beautiful. We have kind of more of that grayscale row. I actually wore this row to, oh, it would have been New Year's Eve, what, 2019? So it would have been ringing in 2020 is when I wore this palette. So some memories died with that one. We didn't know what was about to come. Um, and it's just a fun palette. Is it a favorite of mine? Like, no, but I think it gives you a lot of options. There's a lot of variety. There is also no more Tati Beauty. The volume one is you're not able to just get it anymore. So it's another reason why I hold on to it. Like, I know people tell me all the time, like I could sell this for a lot of money, but like, I don't want to this one's not going anywhere it has some good memories i still think that it's a pretty palette and i'll just i'll never forget the kindness that another very large beauty youtuber showed me at that time and it just reminded me to continue to always keep that circle going of if someone needs my help you know i'm not a big youtuber but i'm always so happy to try to help people or answer questions or just make people feel included or loved and special in this community. And um, this palette's a good reminder. Another palette that I pulled out is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of her quads and this is the Pillow Talk quad, one of the luxury palettes. This is really pretty. You know, these quads are very expensive. This is like a $53 quad. I don't know if it's gone up with inflation. It's pretty, but it's not an absolute favorite of mine, but it's one of those that's like, I know I can do pretty looks with this. I know that I can go into this palette and boom, 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 create a look. It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be easy to do. Is it going to shock the world? Is it gonna make people fall over and faint when they see my eyeshadow? Is it gonna make people think I'm the most talented makeup artist in the world? Like, no, no. they might be like, your eyeshadow looks pretty. One of those that it's like, pretty, it's not gonna do me wrong. Do I faint over my eye looks? No, but if I want something quick and easy, boom, I can just I can just go into this one. And I really do like Charlotte Tilbury as a brand, you know, one of my one of my favorite brands, but I wouldn't say for eyeshadows. I really like lip products. I have on the Love Trap uh, lip liner right now. I really like a lot of their cheek products. Like I have the bronzer sitting out next to me, one of her matte bronzers. Those I think are really pretty, the blushes and all of that. The eyeshadows are not a standout to me from the brand, but that means that I don't have a lot of them. I only have, I believe it's just two of these luxury quads and the green one is actually a favorite of mine. The pillow talk, I just keep around because it's pretty. And she's like that friend that's not gonna do you wrong, okay? She's trustworthy. Another palette I pulled out, this is from one of my favorite brands, but you know, when it comes to favorite brands and especially favorite brands for eyeshadow palettes, not every single palette is going to be able to be your favorites, but there's still some that I keep around for one reason or another. And one here is from Sigma Beauty and this is their Cinderella palette. I love the Sigma Beauty palettes. I actually have on the Ambiance palette today. Again, I was trying to do something that was a little bit uh, on the golden side for the Golden Knights. So when I was thinking about palettes, I was like, I'm pulling out the Ambiance because like, hello, like this is good vibes, good vibes for Vegas Golden Knights, okay? That's what we need. Um, I love their formula. I think it's stunning. I just, I love Sigma as a brand as a whole anyways, but their eyeshadow formula is just one of my top favorites. I recommend them so much. Now for the Cinderella palette, it is a little bit more on the colorful side, you know, especially compared to the ambiance. It's very neutral. It's very brown which I love. Um, so this one, it's not my most reach for palette, but if I wanna do a little fun color, I can. Like this silver is really fun. We have some green options in here. There's some purple and gold, which I've actually gone into this like little quad of this palette quite a bit, because I think purple and gold make a really cute color combination, unless you are a fan of the Minnesota Vikings. Um, but otherwise, I think that it is really beautiful. Also realizing Sigma's base in Minneapolis, so. Sorry about that. So again, is it a favorite of mine? No, but I like the brand so much. I won't keep absolutely everything from them. Like there's palettes that are my favorite that I have decluttered, but I keep this around because I thought the packaging was really beautiful. The whole collection was beautiful. And it has a fun of those few pops of colors that I don't have in a lot of my Sigma palettes. So if I did want to mix and match and I wanted to use a little bit of neutral from the ambiance and a little bit of color from the Cinderella, I could do something like that. But she's still a cute palette. 
I am an affiliate with Sigma and my discount code with them is Samantha. All right, another palette. This is another one of my favorite brands and a favorite brand for eyeshadows. I buy so many, including one of the newest releases that just came out and I'm just waiting for my order to come in so I can do a little Sephora haul. Uh, but it is Natasha Denona and I chose out the bronze palette for this video. I just, I love the Natasha Denona formula. Again, one of my tippy top favorites for eyeshadow formulas. I purchased so many of the palettes myself and I think that they're great. I love the minis. I love the midis, which are these sizes. She has ones that are a little bit larger. The bronze palette I do think is beautiful. It's just not necessarily my favorite. Like the glam palette I think is super pretty from Natasha Denona. The retro palette, the love palette, the mini nude, the mini glam. I mean, those are all so stunning. I mentioned the pastel palette and palettes that I didn't expect to love. And I will say, that's not one that I love either. It's not an absolute favorite of mine because I'm not a big pastel girl. But I keep that one around because it's pretty much my only pastel palette in my collection. And I think it's better than all of the other pastel palettes that I've ever tried, which hasn't been that many by any means, but Natasha just makes such a good formula. And I kind of think the same with the bronze palette. Like this color scheme is not anything super unique to my collection. It's still so pretty and it really gives you a lot of different options. Definitely you have so like the, I could have worn this today to do my Golden Knights um, eyeshadow colors if I wanted to. You have some deeper shades. You have some cool reds in here that are really fun. Is it just, is it my go-to? No, but it's Natasha. And again, just like with Sigma, I don't keep every single palette of hers. Um, even some of the larger ones, like I have decluttered the gold palette. If I don't feel like I have a use for them or I'm just really not going into them, I will declutter them. But the bronze is like when I'm in that mood for like that sunset eye or that super bronzy eye, I know I have a good option with the Natasha Denona formula. It's not gonna let me down. And then finally, we have another girlfriend of mine and this is Pat McGrath. I had to mention from Pat McGrath, this one is the Mothership Divine Rose Eyeshadow Palette. This is a very expensive eyeshadow palette. I believe it's one of the 129 palettes. And I feel like that definitely goes into play as well when I think about decluttering this. Like, this was a lot of money. Could I probably get a, a decent amount of money back from buying this palette? Like, sure. Well, it's not my favorite. I still think it's pretty, and I still think there's some really pretty shades in here. This, like, dusty mauve shade is so stunning like if i go into this palette that is what i want to wear there's times i've gone into this palette quite simply just to put that eyeshadow on i think that it's so pretty it's one of my favorite like eyeshadow shades in my collection one that i can wear on its own and i think that it's beautiful we do have some of the special shades over here sometimes i do think it's really pretty to do this one shade and this one shade now two shades is that really worth 129 dollars i mean no if we're doing like roi it's probably not there right but i still think it makes for a very pretty eyeshadow look and i don't have a lot of pat mcgrath palettes that i keep around in my collection this is an what you know is considered an older palette of hers I have worn every single shade from this palette on my eyes and I have not had any issues with it, but especially a lot of the more recent eyeshadow palettes from Pat McGrath, they cause me to have some sort of eye reaction. My eyes get really red, irritated, itchy. Like I literally like pull goop out of my eyes when I wear her eyeshadow palette. So I've really at this point had to stop buying them because it just keeps giving me some sort of allergic reaction. But this palette did not do that for me. And I, I again, so, I think this is now my only Pat McGrath palette that I have in my collection, so I kind of like to keep it around for that too. Um, it is also very heavy, so if I'm, you know, feeling like I want to get an arm workout in, this can always double as a free weight. So let's get, you know, you got to think about it. You got to think about like the economy, like paying for a gym membership isn't quite there. So if you can double your eyeshadow palette with your free weights, that's always a good thing. Um, but again, it's not my favorite. It's not my most reach for and reach for palette. It's pretty enough. It's also expensive enough and it's my one Pat McGrath palette that I continue to hold on to This fly was really getting in the way of my speech. Okay, how rude. All right, so, but that is everything So I think it was seven eyeshadow palettes, but those are palettes that are not my absolute favorite They're not my tippy top loves, but I still keep around for one reason or another I hope you enjoyed seeing this video if you liked it and you have a channel I hope that you will do it too or just leave it in the comments Do you have some palettes that aren't your favorites, but you keep around? Please share why in the comment section. I would love to know. Or as always, if you have any video suggestions for me, I would love to hear them because that always helps me out so much. Again, a big thank you to Richard.
virtual for working with me on this video. Make sure to check out the link in my description box or you can use my code 20SMART for 20% off your first month. I really appreciate the support on my sponsored videos and I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next one.